update day. It's update day. Although, technically it's a day after update day, actually, if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> it's a good day, too, since it's update day. Because, not only is it update day, it's reset day for Blue Archive, but it's uh, reset day for Genshin and Destiny 2. It's a life fall day, boys. I'm about to be hard grinding on that game, on Destiny. But, uh, until then... Uh... Yeah, no, we're gonna play some Blue Archive. <laughs> <laughs> Consultation something. Hello. Oh, you really picked up. Uh... Sensei? Is this Sensei? Who is this? Oh, yeah, sorry, I should introduce myself. It's Kyo Yama Kasusa from the After School Sweets Club, first year student at Trinity General High School. Well, you see, this is more awkward than I thought it'd be. Can we meet real quick before school starts? If you're not busy or anything. There's a train crossing we can meet at. That's in the picture. Sure, but what do you need? It's really not a big deal. I just want some advice about this thing. I'm not really used to asking for help like this, so sorry for being awkward. Anyway, like I said, nothing big. Um, I totally get if you're busy though. No, oh, I'm on my way. You would have an idea what it's about? I mean, I guess that's fair. Well, how do I say this? Recently I've been... Been what? Being stalked? By who? Exchange current events, variety of items variety of items to make sure your students are more powerful, yeah. As if I can level my account up if I can. <laughs> no, who's stalking you? Uh, hold on. It's not exactly what you think. Let me explain. If this was just a stalker, I would have reported as a justice task force and been on my way. So, is something personal? Actually, I probably wouldn't have. Me and the justice task force have a history. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the crux of my problem is that I don't want them to get in trouble. So, she does know them. I just... I just want them to stop, you know? But I don't really know how to make that happen without being, being punished. Ugh, I'm asking a lot of you. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to keep you out of trouble. You really have a way with words. But still. Thank you. Hmm. Who's the stalker? Yeah, who is stalking you? No, I guess that's pretty essential information. Honestly, I don't really want her out. More do want to out her, but I don't have much of a choice, huh? I mean, even if I don't, she'll show up eventually anyway. The stalker's name is... Uzawa... I found you! There's no one else to run! Can y'all count? Wait, what? <laughs> I thought of something completely different for a second. <laughs> My name is Uza Reisa, and I'm here to challenge you. Let's duel! Like, Yu-Gi-Oh type of duel? Preemptive strike? Did she just jump her right in broad daylight? My student just got jumped before my eyes and I just stood there and, <laughs> and just let her take it. I can't do this anymore. This is already the third time today. Wait, she... Wait, you got jumped like that three times already today? I feel like this is more than just a regular stalker issue. Oh, it's honestly not that hard to get away from her. She's really bad at climbing, so I just led her to a dead end and jump over it. Well, why are you looking at me like that? You can jump over walls? Oh, about that. There is a reason. Any chance we can leave it at that? This is because she's part cat. Because I mean, the cat here up her, I kind of give it away. Sensei, you know the thugs around this area. I'm sure you run into them. They're bad students. They always wear masks, modify their school uniforms by lengthening the skirts, wrap themselves in bandages. I'm sure you encountered them once or twice. Yeah. The little details don't matter. The point is, Reza, that fool you just saw, has been fighting those thugs since she was in middle school. She was a self-proclaimed apostle of justice or something dumb like that. 
And now she's still doing it under the name of the Vigilante Crew. She hasn't changed a bit. I seriously hate drama and the stupid idiots who cause it. Sorry, I'm getting off topic. Look at this. A photo? Is this a photo of thugs? Did she used to be in a gang? I feel like she kind of used to be in a gang. That's what I'm getting the vibe from her. To be clear, I don't hold on to this because of memories or anything. I just thought you should see it. I thought you might not believe me if I just told you. Huh? Yeah, you're correct. You get it now? Oh, she is from- Oh, she is from a group of- Uh, a group of thugs? That's... Me. I mean, that's me when I was in middle school. I... Was a thug. Oh. <laughs> you really go straight to the victory screen. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for your time. Let's meet up later. What about my past? Why would I feel any type of way? Why would I feel any type of way of telling about you? Oh, the thugs? You wonder if I wanted to hide my past with them? Did you? No, no, I get it. I mean, it's not like I go around bragging about it. But it's the truth, and I can't change that. No one go as far as to hide it, but it sucks having to remember it. Bad memories resurfacing, or really more like embarrassing moments in your past that just resurface out of the blue when you're not thinking about it at all. Those are the worst moments. It's like you're just minding your business too. I hope she grows up soon. Otherwise, she's gonna be a child for the rest of her life. It's like she thinks we're still kids playing around in middle school. She can't forget it. I just don't get why though, you know? I'm really trying to move on and start over. I mean, some people just can accept change. Or maybe she doesn't want to accept that change. What? Did I say something wrong? Why well, quit being a thug? Uh, that's... Why do you want to know? I just... I did, you know? Was she embarrassed back then? Oh, maybe that's what it was. She probably realized she was acting childish, so she decided to stop, uh, she decided to stop doing it. <laughs> Why does it even matter? Is it weird that I wanted to quit? Everyone has some stuff in their past they want to leave behind. People can be spies, bank robbers, agents disguised as maids, or even self-proclaimed ninjas. That's... I feel like that just foreshadowed a whole bunch of things that I, I'm gonna be in the future, but I'm just gonna ignore it for now. Everyone matures when they have to, so no more questions about the past. It's kind of embarrassing, you know? Oh, the bell. Can't be late, Sensei. I'll see you later. Thanks for your help today. I feel a lot better already. Seriously. Thanks. Well. Until next time. We didn't even get to see Razor now that I think about it. All we got was Well um Yeah that Well that was one good first impression, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you know Razor, right? Uh so it's Razor again. <laughs> I should be calling trouble for you too. I'm sorry if she caused any trouble. I hope it wasn't serious. Yeah, wait, why'd you say again? She's not a bad person. She means well and is kind of a, to a fault. But over eagerness can be a, both a blessing and a curse. I'm surprised though. I would think Grace will at least be careful around you. But back to the topic. She could be in a thug. Why is Grace still challenging her? She really has no reason to challenge this ex-thug, so is it just competitiveness? I feel there's something more to it. Well, no reason to wonder. Let's ask her directly. I have Race's contact number. If I say you're looking for her, she'll come right away. As you all know, she's an, she's an act first, think later type. Let me message her right now. Oh, who's this text from? From Raisa? Oh, she contacted her first? Uh, it's a 
quest for backup? Justice! <laughs> they just fell over and died. <laughs> Mission complete. <laughs> no one can hide from the Apostle of Trinity. It was our racer. Cease, villains! Seriously, how do you say that without cringing? <laughs> oh, she's a cringe lord. <laughs> and didn't you say you were the knight of the people before? Pick a name. <laughs> she goes by many names. <laughs> this is just one of them. <laughs> she looks like some type of troublemaker too, doesn't she? Okay, <laughs> flashbang. <laughs> okay, flashbang. Who's that you brought with you? They seem kind of familiar. Uh, my Eraser. <laughs> we met earlier today, you know, after you jumped your friend. <laughs> I'm Musa Eraser, the Apostle of Trinity. Eraser, we actually want to talk to you about this morning, if you have a moment. We need to clear up some confusion about Kimo Kasua. Oh? I don't get it. There's nothing confusing about here. <laughs> There's nothing confused about apprehending villains. She may have tried to disguise herself with a school uniform, but my keen eye sees everything. We have a third eye now? Kasa can never hide the aura of a beast emanating from her very soul. Right, Sensei? You saw her. That was Kiyama Kasuza in the flesh. I mean, it was, but... <laughs> aura of the beast? She's a legend. A myth. A cautionary tale of parents tell their children to keep them off the streets. Kath Pollock? Wait, what? Kath Pollock? The feral cat that can freeze the toughest of thugs with just one look? In other words, she's my ultimate rival. I feel like she's bringing some type of fan fiction to life right now, and she's enacting it harder than any other reader would. Excuse me, Sensei. At this rate, Kath Pollock will resurrect and turn our beloved Academy into a place of darkness and despair. This is my mission as the Apostle of Trinity. I must. No, I will stop her. I feel like. I feel like Topo. <laughs> I feel like speaking like Topo for some reason. Just start saying justice every single time she opens her mouth. I feel like that would do something right. <laughs> no, I cannot see it. <laughs> what is that face? <laughs> What is that face? I understand this is hard for you to process, Razor. Of course it is. Because you don't know Kasasa like I do. That Kiara Kasasa, the one and only Kath Palug. She's an unstoppable beast. How would how would Kasasa react in here instead of this just over and over again? Actually now I think about it, she got jumped like what three times today? I think she already knows. <laughs> Actually she's been getting stalkeries. This is her stalker. This is this isn't a stalker. This is What do I even call this actually? There's no use in avoiding the truth any longer. Sensei's worries are our worries. And our worries are Sensei's. Our thoughts are aimed at the same destination. The road leads to one and only Kiyokama Kasusa. How did you figure that out? What? Hello, is anyone going to tell me what's happening? Yoshimi, did you already forget what happened yesterday? Actually, now I think Yeah, now I think about it, this is the after school sweets club, and she's in this club, isn't she? So I'm pretty sure she would have told them. Right? Oh, are you talking about the weirdo who came to fight Kasuza? So you met Reza. How do you know, Sensei? And why is everyone worked up about a dumb fight? I'm pretty sure a dumb f wouldn't be as old dumb if she wasn't jumped three times a day. But it was less about the fight and more about Kasuza's manner during it. She seemed like a different person. I'll try to explain Yoshimi. Actually, never mind. I really like how straightforward you see the world. <laughs> Did she call her stupid? <laughs> I don't know much about Uza Reisa, but everyone has their past and their baggage. That never changed my opinion of Kasuza. Naturally. That's the romance of our unshakable friendship. If we go our separate ways just because the ingredients have different tastes and origins, then desserts will never be completed. 
After school, Sweets Club knows this fact better than anyone else. Is there anything we can do? Please let us know. We want to help cause it any way we can, just like you. She has great friends. Huh? What's this? Is this your picture, Sensei? I think you dropped it. No, oh, that's... Wait, stop. Don't look at it? What is it? It mine. Let me look. Oh, this photo. This is... The long coat, angry glare, mask under the chin. She must be from a gang. Wait, that face. Face? What face? Oh. <laughs> what am I going into battle for? Oh, Sensei, you're so punctual. So, anything new? Have you talked to Reza since then or anything? Sorry, am I being pushy? I've just been impatient for news. I don't blame her, shoot. <laughs> I would be too. Ignore me. It's coming from an adult, so I'll trust you. Let's find someone to sit and talk. Hey, Ki- I'm sorry, who? You look bored, are you free? Do you this is not happening in broad daylight, is it? That voice sounds familiar. Oh wait, is this someone we know? <laughs> what just happened? What? I don't know. I don't know. I'm with you on this one. I don't know. <laughs> why are you guys dressed like a bunch of gang members? And why is Natsu talking even weirder than usual? <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate your concern, but don't push away your fellow consp <laughs> conspirators. We are here. Our future is heading towards a world previously unknown to us. You know, you have some really great friends. <laughs> some very great friends. Caught Re Oh, don't tell me it's Reza. Please don't tell me it's Reza. <laughs> oh no. I let myself believe for a split moment you turned your evil ways, but it was always impossible. The beast within you will never be tempered. We just made it a whole lot worse too. <laughs> now you formed the after school sweets gang? How terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Even Sensei's been kidnapped. They're gonna be blackmailed to schools <laughs> blackmailed to schools with them. I am? <laughs> Kaza kidnapped sensei? Oh. Kaza, is that true? <laughs> Are you guys freaking serious? No. <laughs> Kidnap me, Kaza? -sa? This isn't funny, sensei. <laughs> Stop joking around explain to everyone before this gets out of hand. Did you just threaten sensei? <laughs> she even forces adults to do her will. Could you help me, Kaza? You're ruthless. They are a bunch of middle schoolers. They are a bunch of middle schoolers. What? We accept. Yes, we do. I may understand the situation, but I don't need to. You may not speak to Kazuza that way. All I need to know is that you are hurting my friend, and we will let you get away. Are they about to jump her? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that Ghost Whiskey will show you the power of friendship and romance. Did they just jump a middle schooler? <laughs> well, technically she's in high school now, but... Sensei, what do we do? <laughs> Devour everything like it's your favorite dessert! <laughs> Aren't I a great friend? <laughs> I think I'm a good friend. Oh, you're already here, Sensei. I couldn't believe when I had to come down to meet you. Oh! Liz Arisa, report again. Good to see you again. I didn't think you'd be using my number so soon. So, um, when did you want to see me? Huh? Oh, but what happened today? The situation's under control. I checked everything out. 
Kei Amakaza has completely changed her ways and is living a normal life with good people. She doesn't want anything to do with her past. Problem solved. I'll never bother Kiara Cosmo again. That's not what I was asking. And are you okay with that ending? What do you mean? There's no reason to challenge Kazuza if she's no longer Kath Baloo. I guess that's all there is to it. Huh? Did I contact the vigilante crew and just ask for us about Kiara Kazuza? No, I didn't. Wait, what? Oh, I guess I didn't ask for back or anything. No, I'm not sure why. I didn't even tell Susan B about it. Weird. Why'd she say everybody else's name is like, like first name? But yeah, she uses the full name of Kasasa. Um, I hope this isn't rude, but I only get why you wanted to know. By any chance, there you are, you weird old vigilante. What? It's definitely her. I wouldn't forget her face. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't forget someone either who was like, what, what, five inches shorter than me? <laughs> Buzz off. We got business with her. With me? Don't play dumb. We already know everything. You know who Keth Belug is, right? Uh, that's... Why do you ask? Isn't it obvious? There's a rumor going around she's forming a new organization to rise to power again. I think it was called the After School Sweets Gang or something. Is it true? Wait, no, it's a complete misunderstanding. The organization isn't real. And Kiyama, I mean, Kath Palu is not who she used to be. Kath Palu no longer exists. At least make your lies believable. Do you think we're stupid? <laughs> I felt the same way when I first heard it too. But it really is true. She has nothing to do with you thugs anymore. We well, figured you wouldn't cooperate easily. Guys, and we're surrounded. I guess it's fight time. <laughs> hey, Sensei, I figured Mr. Green Point if you can wait until this morning. Does this have to do with the stuff you were helping me with? Huh? You have bad news. What is it? Do you mean? Yeah, you're being hunted down. Sensei, that's... Yeah, that's what it is. She's not gonna bother you anymore. Oh, really? That's unexpected. A little more smooth than I thought. So, that's it. She's not gonna bother me anymore. Well, awesome. Exactly what I wanted. You can finally stop being such a kid. It's only natural to grow out of what happens eventually, right? <laughs> I think I'll sleep like a baby tonight. Right. You're. Does she still want to see her? I feel like she still wants to see her. By any chance. Did something happen to Raisa? If I tell you, you'll be annoyed again. Are you sure you want to hear it? Sensei. I've said this before, but I hate loudmouths who are always causing drama. They're in my ears and they're a bother. They tend to do and say things to make themselves look big and strong, which feels weak to me. But, well, I guess I miss them sometimes when they're not around. Regardless, I don't do well with those types of people. It's always been like that. It'll probably be like that forever. I mean, okay, fine. Not probably. It'll always be like that. Maybe it's just my messed up fate. So... Where's Reza now?
Did they follow or did we bring them along? What are these people doing here? What do you mean, these people? Would it kill you to be nice for once? Yes, it would. Go home. You'll just get in the way here. You think I'm dead weight, huh? Let's take this outside. Are we already outside? How are you all here? You called them, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Kazuza, we're the fearsome after-school sweets gang. We're allies of Kathpalu, who will devour the world. I feel like she's speaking in riddles. <laughs> any any ally of our ally is our ally. Those thugs will pay the price for hurting an ally of our organization. How many times have to tell you we're not friends? <laughs> uh, no such thing as friendship. What a thug like move. The plot thickens. Seriously, aren't you the least bit embarrassed to be talking like that? Obviously not. She has a straight face the entire time. I'm very impressed. <laughs> I think she's really enjoying being a thug, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hate this. Is this a never-ending nightmare? Well, don't sweep the small. <laughs> that was an intentional bug. <laughs> yeah, don't sweep the small stuff. Let's get some thugs. Who got Sensei with us? It'd be a piece of cake. <laughs> sensei, please stay safe. Let's go save Razor. Attack! How many of them are there? And she's been taking all while right by herself? For how long? <laughs> like I said a billion times, I don't know anything. I can't believe that I, Usawa Reza, the Apostle of Justice and fighting for Kathpalu. You live and you learn, I guess. I'm only 15 though. I've got a lot to learn. <laughs> a 15 year old is taking on a bunch of group of thugs. Alone. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. Just getting started. Really? You guys seem pretty spent. Huh? I thought I heard a familiar voice. And what I told you before, your bark should never be bigger than your bite. Am I hallucinating Kath Blue's voice right now? Silly me. I really do have one track mind. Who's that? Who are you? What? That wall. Behind that wall. Are they going bursting out through the wall? Please tell me they are. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's a bomb! Hmm. Hey. <laughs> She's like not the right place. Brace her. Do we knock her unconscious? Oh no! <laughs> she got caught in the explosion! <laughs> oh, Natsu? Who's this little girl? <laughs> How rude. Do you truly not know who this is? She's the darkness that will take over the world. <laughs> she is the night. She is Kath Palug. <laughs> She's a fearsome beast who will, who will soon resurrect and rule over mankind. Ha. Huh. Hey, step on the brakes, Natsu, please. <laughs> You're doing great, Natsu. I like that last bit about resurrection. And were her subordinates, the four divine beasts of the after school sweets gang. Huh? What? Four divine beasts? I think that includes me. <laughs> wow, I just I think I just got promoted. <laughs> we're the four divine beasts of the after school sweets gang! Everyone except Sensei Charge Forward! I don't know why. But all I saw in that moment was that scene from Rio, where there was just the birds versus monkey scene, and it was just us charging forward. <laughs> the groups who try to stop the resurrection of Kathbaluk all face overwhelming defeat. 
Oh, finally, the world is returning to the dark era. The beast will come again. <laughs> stop, stop, okay? <laughs> stop, <laughs> is she beating her up? <laughs> He's beating the crap out of her. <laughs> How many times did I tell you? <laughs> Not to know. Um, what's that? Isn't that the challenge letter? Are you turning it to Risa? I have no use for it. It was hers to begin with, okay? I find your inability to admit your feelings both romantic and adorable. I'm warning you. <laughs> this is annoying. Why is this my life? Somebody's hungry. <laughs> well, good morning, everyone. They're not really putting in their full effort during the Solonider. I think the after-school sweets this club needs to do what we do best. <laughs> Desserts on me today. I really do love these guys. They're... Yeah. They really are the sweetest. She's raining gunfire in the club room. <laughs> I feel like she's BMing her all of a sudden. <laughs> Yo, she's BMing her.